Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World, episode number 36. In this one, I'm going to be building a Z scale display stand. You can see I had a bunch of Z scale trains that, well, I never did much with because my old eyes, I just can't get them on the track. So I decided to build this display stand. Went out into the garage and found an old piece of scrap styrofoam insulation. And of course, if you're going to have any kind of display you ought to have some kind of a bridge and a, a creek or something like that so I cut a little hole in it from there you start rounding it off thinking about what you want now this is real basic kind of stuff real basic kind of stuff you're not getting carried away with this and then you smooth it out and you make a little bit of a raised bed for the track not getting too carried away because this is going to be just a display stand well of course if you're going to have a gully or a a river of some sort you're gonna to have to have a bridge I don't have a Z scale bridge so I'm gonna build one with my old friend Elmer's plain old white household glue two sides and a bottom and a sharpie to make it black it took me about five minutes to make this little bridge it was easy and fast and of course in bridges you always want bunched ties because you have to distribute the weight so I take this flex track and squeeze some of the ties together and it looks pretty good. Now what I do is I put a little bit of a coating on it with the with the water putty and then I start putting a little bit of scenic stuff on the river. Now I lay my track all at once, put some of the white glue on it, lay the track right on it, put the ballast right on top and then you gotta put a weight on it to hold it in place. You get it all done in one shot. It's really easy. Once the glue is dry you just turn it upside down, tap off the excess ballast, and then you've got to start thinking about what are you going to put on next, what kind of scenic stuff. I use something that I like to call slop. It's the leftover stuff from all the other scenic projects that I've done. It all goes into the same tub, and then I take and put the white glue all over wherever I want this is, and then you just sprinkle it on. After it sets up, the glue sets up, once again you turn it upside down, tap it off, and you keep that stuff so you can use it at another time. Well we're almost done, you gotta do a few more things. You gotta add a little picture in the background like I did. Add some trees, some rocks, some tidbits of brush and stuff like that. And it was coming out so good I said what the heck, I'll just make a wooden base for it. So the wooden base actually took almost as much time as the rest of it. So it came out really nice. What do you think? The whole project, including making the wood base, was, oh, maybe one hour. It took quite a bit longer waiting for the glue to dry. Well, thanks for joining me here in episode number 36 at Murphy's Welcome to My World. Hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe use it sometime. Well, have fun with your trains. Come back. Join me again another time. Bye, guys.